this is something I can only recommend anyway so let's do a real unboxing also something I truly hate I got this for the sake of having a piece of what I Balenciaga uh, because it's a bit more silent, you know. I mean, the green is is perfect. I'm a hundred percent sure he's thinking I'm filming him. And different is always good. Today I thought I might just do it. Hello, 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 hello! Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. Today I want to make a video about some recent pickups that I have made. Some things I shopped. And as I told you in my previous videos, I'm actually like trying not to shop too much anymore and try to be a bit more sustainable and focused on the real stylistic pieces that I want to have. There's still, you know, some coincidences. You go somewhere, you see something on sale and it is a piece that you have wanted for a longer period of time. And I have had that coincidence recently. I was in Istanbul and there is a very famous luxury store called Bayman that I can only recommend. They have an insane collection of designers. In store they have even more, but they also ship internationally, so have a look at them. Um, it's a super cool store and they also have an outlet, which is of course like the coolest thing on earth. Uh, and I went there and um, yeah, I found some pieces and I want to show you how I would style them and how much I love them. And yeah, and also if you want to know what I'm wearing right now, I think I will just say at the end of the video what I'm wearing. And tell me down below what your recent pickups were and don't forget to subscribe to this video and follow me on Instagram. So let's start. Well, the first piece that I have is a Prada piece and it is of that very famous, oh damn, I wanted to look it up. I think it's again 18 collection and uh, you know that very famous flames print they had on their shoes and on their pants and most certainly on their wool knits and sweaters and I recall the day that I didn't get these flamed heels because I was like okay come come on that was like one of my minimalistic phases and this is again a thing where I think um, you know being minimalistic is important in terms of you know finding your true style and not spending too much money on unnecessary things you know if you care about not trend pieces but maybe pieces that will turn into archive pieces you need to buy these kind of things and only investing in basic things won't really improve your personal style but these very special items will so um, usually what i recommend is get yourself a good basis of you know like basics this is a must but you have to improve and elevate your style with special pieces and i really like the campaign of leandra medine recently for matches fashion where she made this joke like um the essentials and none of them was like an essential piece it was like a cecilia basen skirt and i don't know you know like rosie Asulin uh, tops and stuff so a, a lot of maximalist pieces but these should actually be your essential pieces that really uh, individualize and personalize your your style and that uh, speak for themselves so uh, try to invest in very special pieces and all the pieces I will show you right now are in my opinion pretty special pieces so this is why I love to start with it right now and as you know the flames are already a remake of a existent product collection so it is an archive piece by now and uh, well let's have a look at it where is it So I have it here and I didn't have like a too detailed look at it yet. It is this very, very cool flame sweater. My sister thought this is a D squared sweater. So I do not know if that speaks like for this knit. But if you have a closer look, it has this mohairish, woolish um, structure. And it, I guess it's mohair. So people who kind of have an issue with scratchy fabrics have a problem with this one. This is a size 42, you know, Italian sizes, you need to usually like order 10 th sizes up. So what is this? 67% mohair and the 3% lana and the rest is uh, polyester, which is okay. It is scratchy and itchy, of course it is. I have no problem at all with it because since I'm a freezing person, as I always say, um, I like like thick fabrics and also, you know, like these hairs and I love it very much because I think it will look very cool and elevate a boring look kind of. So these are like staple pieces I love to have 
um, when I usually, you know, just wear a skirt or a usual pants and just, I wouldn't wear it with sneakers because it can turn into a too casual vibe. I would definitely wear it like with, I don't know, like uh, finer shoes with leather shoes or kitten heels or booties or something. Um, and I can imagine to wear it very well with skirts since it's a bit longer than the usual ones. And yeah, I love it. And yeah, it's a pretty cool sweater, isn't it? I think it is. You know, it kind of changes this minimalistic road map uh, that I actually stand for. But as I said, it's essential to also have interesting pieces and these need to be disrupting pieces. Uh, these need to be stuff that um, are not navy like 90% of my wardrobe. So this will be a cool piece to style with like my eclectic skirts and my eclectic shoes or like basic skirts, for example. <laughs> To everyone asking if I see my neighbor again since I have now like the camera right in front of the window I'm a hundred percent sure he's thinking I'm filming him so if you don't hear anything from me anymore you can be sure that the police just has like taken me from here but he's not sitting at his usual place and I hope that he realizes that I have turned the camera to my side I don't know Anyway, the next piece I'm super happy about and I mean these are all big brands now and I try to also invest in smaller and niche brands because usually I also find them more inspiring nowadays but it's I mean usually when you shop in a store you cannot find too many niche brands because usually they are like at Essence or LNCC or something and if you have like these suit shops like I don't know Saks and Beckdorf's and I don't know what um, they of course shop the bigger brands so you cannot find a lot of niche brands but I would also like always recommend to get yourself a bit knowledge concerning the smaller brands Essence I mean just check out the portfolio the brands portfolio of Essence and you will find like so many interesting pieces and a brand I usually never get disappointed by except for I have seen a Sierra Parker's video that she had these flip-flops that were insanely bad. Uh, so there are these one or two pieces uh, with Balenciaga that I'm not pretty sure about. But this again was a skirt I got that I actually just knew it's perfect. You know, it's tartan because uh, it's not hound's tooth. It is not too tartan. Now in the right, uh, in the lighting, it looks like it's very out. Okay, here you see it better. Um, it's perfect. I love to wear skirts. Maybe you have realized that. Um, it's not that I wear them daily actually, but I just like it because I think it again elevates a look. You are able to create a different silhouette than with the pants. I love fitting pants and I have like 90 pants or something that I all wear. But it's you're able to create yourself into a very different persona when you're wearing skirts and combine something with them. So this is a skirt I would definitely wear with a lot of turtlenecks. It has very thick fabric. You know, what I love about designers and what I also said in my Gisanda video, for example, is that these designers usually tend to wear, uh, tend to use fabrics that are actually uh, not made for textile, you know, not made to be worn. And Gisanda usually uses things that are, I don't know, it looks like it's more for interior stuff, you know, like for couches and uh, I don't know, for stuff like real life blankets that are also extremely expensive but not actually made to be worn or outerwear pieces that are uh, that they make skirts of or tops of which I love extremely because then you create this stiffness and this quality and here even though you have this hem I mean if my sister would have been here she could have told you but I think it's just a raw hem that wasn't 
um, soon or anything, but not everything. Because once I had the Celine skirt that didn't have any hems and the skirt was just like literally getting shorter and shorter. You know, the, the skirt was going away because it didn't have any hems and was just getting any shorter and shorter. Uh, okay, what kind of fabric do we have here? And Balenciaga has like true to size sizing usually. It's, this is a 36. Um, it's made in Italy at least. But I know that Balenciaga doesn't produce everything there. Okay, it's 100% wool also. Um, Lana. And um, yeah, it also is a bit itchy, but it has an inlay, so that's no problem at all. And yeah, I love it. And this is something I can wear a lot more maybe than the Prada sweater, uh, because it's a bit more silent, you know? Oh. Uh, but instead of this brand, you know, I will just, I, I will still love it, always love it. Um, since Demna is there, I mean, I also love the Alexander, was Alexander Wang right? Okay, I just recalled what we know about Alexander Wang right now. But the time we didn't know what Alexander had done, I really liked what he had created also. But Demna, is, this is just like a next level. Today I thought I might just do it. So, to make this quick and dirty, I have a third piece. And this is a piece... I mean, the green is, is perfect. And I know that my first video ever on YouTube was about Bottega Veneta. Veneta, Bottega Veneta, Bottega Veneta. And that I think is totally overrated, and I still think that. Um, but there are certain pieces that I like. And I have to say, like, truly, I got this for the sake of having a piece of Bottega. I haven't got a single piece of Bottega Veneta uh, before, and... Um, oh, damn, I didn't tidy up anything, so this is actually my nephew's room. You, you know, my sister loves children. You see how much... Oh, so many children pictures yeah she loves to turn everything into something childish anyway so let's do a real unboxing also something i truly hate but let's have a look hey ma, 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 ma. you know i love this i love un i love to personally unpack stuff you know who doesn't okay stuff i mean this is something i will definitely need they're so underrated and i when I see them, I'm like, fuck, I will need them. So, some very cool, um, how do you call that, like wool bags, and they're like pretty thick made. This is just printed on. I mean, I usually never use these, but sometimes when I'm going somewhere uh, and need to pack something, oh, some a very sweet card, and here we have these. And I have to say, I got these because also, Okay, the light is bad, so we're going up. Going up, 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 yeah. It has this crunched leather that I love. I have to say, I really love that. It has this witch uh, front, you know, this is something I love. And, you know, it had like several things. I really love that this is like, you know what I mean? I don't know how to call this. Um, it is not a typical string. It is made a bit more interesting and I kind of like this one even though you know, it I kind of recall the Todd's loafers. So I got these and I think they're pretty cool and I can wear them because they're like still a bit more edgy and a bit more basic and classy than these padded heels and stuff. So I think they're pretty cool and um, yeah. 
I will wear them. I will style them with my looks now so you can have a look at that. Nice. Nicer dicer. And they were like, had a good price point. So why not? I mean, they're nice. Okay. So even if it's Bottega, we like it. Okay. I would say it's a look. You need to wear it with socks, I would say. I like it. This is definitely me. Like the right dose of fun and games, but also then like very serious stuff also to wear underneath. This is something that I like and that I can also recommend. This is what I mean, why I mean like socks are important, guys. Spend in some good socks. This is how I would style it if I want to be really fun in games. You know, I have this top. This is a super old H&M's top and I got it, I think, from my university years. I really had to remember this very iconic Marc Jacobs uh, top at that time. So I think like the skirt is still like, you know, the serious part here. And then you have this rugby collared shirt. I really like it. As you see, it really fits perfectly. And it's, yeah, it's a very cool skirt. I like it. You know, oh, it's beautiful, okay. You know you know what I mean? A skirt changes the silhouette that you have. A pants, no matter how interesting it is, it will never be as interesting as this skirt. This is something I can only recommend if you want to have a look that is a bit more feminine, playful, and yet cool and sophisticated because nobody will run around in this kind of look, I think. I mean, I get it. They look a bit awkward, you know, they really look like witch shoes, but still interesting to me. And different is always good. Whew, this is kind of, kind of exhausting, I would say. So I hope that you liked this video. Tell me down below, what do you think about these pieces? What were maybe your recent pickups that you need to share with me? And do not forget to subscribe or follow me on Instagram. And, um... And just follow me as I follow my neighbors. So just do these kind of things. And yeah, oh, my, what I'm wearing, this is actually a um, menswear. I told you guys. Menswear cos um, shirt. And I really like it because it's like seersucker like, you know, and it has a different fabric here and it has a different fabric here. And the pants are like, you know, I really love the cut. And it's, this is also men's pants. I think it's like the tiniest size I guess it's like 46 or something and they always have it and since Kos has a very slim fit in general you can very easily wear it as a girl so see you to my next video bye